Here we go folks, good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Andy Does Ales with the Bear Buffoon, that's me. And uh, this afternoon, of course it's a Thursday, I've got my day off, it's lovely, it's very nice indeed in fact, I like it. I'm going to try one today that's nearly out of date, so I better sup it quick before it does go out of date. This is Bragdi Tierfi. Sounds Spanish. No. Danny Cockles, a strong ale from Cardigan Brewery, based in Cardigan on the West Wales coast. That's well, the only Welsh coast, really, isn't it? Thinking about it. Stupid boy. 5.4% strong ale, strongish. Bottle conditioned, naturally hazy. Die cockles. Hmm. I don't like cockles, or mussels, or any fish food like that. Or, oh no, no, I just make. <laughs> so I hope it doesn't taste like cockles. <sighs> or will it warm the cockles of my heart? I don't know. We shall see, shall we? Right, like we say, 5.4%. Cardigan Brewery. All right. <clears throat> that bit's in Welsh, so I can't really read that. I'm not very good at Welsh. Um, on the wild and rugged West Wales coast is where we create the crafty dye range of beers. This is a ruby coloured classic strong ale with rich malt flavours balanced against a spicy bitter hop finish. This beer is all natural and will continue to mature and develop in the bottle. I bet it'd be lively then when I open it. Um, yeah okay so still in a cool dark place and it's uh, best before October 2022. So I've got a couple of days left. So let's get it down my neck. Right, let's see if it is lively. Hmm, no, not bad. Bit of steam, bit of smoke coming off the off the thingy. Right, pour carefully. It says because there is a sediment. And it's looking not so much a ruby or a copper. But, uh, we shall see, shall we? We shall see what we shall see. Right, I'll leave it at that for a minute. I might give a swill around a bit later on and, uh, and just top it up. But for me, that does look like a copper ale rather than a ruby. It might be bordering on ruby something but it's definitely a coppery ale lovely sort of fluffy uh, one and a half finger head carbonating mm, reasonably good right smell wise it smells like a beer fantastic this is what the kids want this is what the kids on the street want boom as the saying goes that's right there's no extra mucking about with them now that's just beer pure and simple that's all it needs right let's give it a taste and see how it is cheers to everyone in wales hell that is bitter mm. it looks fantastic i tell you what don't taste that great. It's got a, I know it's all natural, but it's got a kind of, hmm, I don't know, chemically, chemical taste? I don't know. It's clear at the moment. I'll stick the rest of this, I'll stick the rest of this in and uh, haze it up a minute, see what happens. Right, there we go. Mmm, that's, that's a really, really bitter, really bitter taste, that is. Let's see what it's like with the bits and bobs in. Mmm, it's got a funny taste. It's got a really strange taste, in fact. It... it 
Right, I know it's all natural and I might offend Cardigan Brewery. Sorry about that. But it tastes chemical. It's really, really bitter. I wouldn't put this as a very pleasant drink. And, you know, my palate is clean. I've had, <clears throat> I've had nothing to taint it or anything like that. That's a weird. And it's not gone off. You can taste if it's gone off. It's not gone off. <coughs> Pardon me. It makes you burp though, but one point towards it. I don't know. This is That's not a nice beer to me. It's my taste though. Sorry, Cardigan Brewery, but that's that's the way I feel. strange very strange it does it tastes really really chemical like chemical like i don't know what chemicals taste like i've never drank them <laughs> but they yeah weird not in my top 10 i'm afraid cardigan not this one dicockles strong ale at 5.4 percent it's not that strong <clears throat> you know mcewan's uh, champion is 7.2 and that tastes a lot better than this. Anyway, you win some, you lose some. It's a, just a pity that Vic didn't choose this one for me. Cause <laughs> it would have gone in her favour. Sorry about that. <laughs> right, okay, on that bombshell, I'll love you and leave you. Um, will I finish this off? I've got two more bottles over there with the different brews. I might try them and just see what they're like. But to me... It looks great, but it's not a good beer for me, that one. Anyway, all right, folks. If you find it and you try it, let me know what you think, because your taste might be different to mine. All right? <laughs> we'll see you very soon then, people. Take care of yourselves and uh, keep